What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and today we have new solo challenges in Mutt 16, also a new team of the week player of course, and that would be 99 overall Von Miller, he won the Super Bowl MVP last night, it was kind of a boring Super Bowl in my personal opinion, obviously if you're a Broncos fan I'm sure you're very excited, if you're a Panthers fan you might be down on yourself right now, but don't worry about it, uh, you know it happens, it's whatever, but um, you know that, that Super Bowl was, just kind of, was kind of boring to me, but let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments down below. Now we do have eight new solos, like I said, also uh, new team of the weeks and stuff like that. We'll take a look at all that stuff. Now the new solos, definitely do them. They're all moments, all very easy to get done and they're all worthwhile and you get a ton of stuff for them. You get a um, you know a bunch of items. You get the new Super Bowl 50 uh, collectible you need for the on the 50 set for the Steve Young. And uh, on top of that, you can just get a, you know, a ton of other stuff, a lot of coins, very easy to do. And it's pretty much, I think they put that out because, um, Mutt was down basically all day yesterday, all day after pretty much, you know, right when the new content dropped uh, with the new packs and stuff, it pretty much was down from like noon to about like 4 a.m. or something like that. So, uh, you know, a lot of people weren't able to play. I couldn't play after a while and uh, a lot of people missed out. So um, these are three of the packs you do get for doing those solo challenges, two of the tailgating packs and then one championship pack, which I think might be pretty good. So that's what you get at the very end. You get these two for the um, two right before the end. So might as well open these up right now. I think you get a couple of collectibles and maybe a player if you're lucky. Yeah, you get a player, two collectibles, probably not going to sell for too much. But the players were selling for like 4 or 5k earlier today. So hopefully they continue to do that. Got an elite collectible here. Fernando Velasco and another gold collectible. So not too bad. But we do have the championship pack to open up. I'm going to open up that after because I think I actually have a chance to pull, um, you know, pretty good stuff in that one. So let's take a look at the team of the week's in packs right now then we'll take a look at von miller on the auction house because like i said he did get a 99 overall card well deserving in my opinion uh you know as the super bowl mvp so super bowl 50 a little bit different as set this time seven players and one obviously game of the week the only game this week uh super bowl 50 let's see what the collectible is going for it is going for 430 wow that's crazy uh other guys that got cards tj ward cj anderson ted ginn bradley roby coney ely emmanuel sanders and then the boss of them all Luke Keekley in this set, 95 overall. That is crazy that he's that uh, high of an overall in this set. Uh, just the fact that you have to buy him to get a Von Miller is crazy. 340K for Luke Keekley, one of the better middle linebackers in the game for sure. 100 pursuit rating. Wow, that is insane. He did have a bunch of tackles in the Super Bowl. I'm actually not sure how many. He led all players with 10 total tackles. There you go. Finished with two tackles for loss, a sack, a QB hit, and a pass breakup. Pretty darn good. Let's compare him to my middle linebackers, Navarro Bowman and Ryan Chazier. Um, you know, probably is a little bit better than Bowman. I don't know. You can make a case for either guy. And then definitely better than Chazier. Only a little bit slower. That's about it um, in terms of anything he's worse at. So Luke Keekley, very good card. That one was just bought for 342 Very expensive card. I'm sure the rest of them are actually kind of cheap considering that's 342 and this one was like 450 so that's almost you know what 800k right there and the card is going for about 1.4 mil i believe or something like that so i'm guessing the rest of the cards really aren't that expensive let's just take a look at a couple of them just to get an idea cj anderson yeah only 15k let's see what emmanuel sanders is, like, is going for the second highest overall in the set looks like he's going for at least a little bit yeah 90k so everything else besides keekly and the collectible are going for under 100,000 coins which isn't too bad uh, but this set will cost you a lot if you're a Broncos fan or if you really need a new left outside linebacker. It's going to be a pretty uh, you know, expensive card to get that Von Miller. But let's take a look at him on the auction house. I already got it set up so we can take a look at what he's going for and uh, you know how good he is. I've heard that the, the new card, the 99 overall card, actually increased every single stat except for you know offensive stats because they don't really matter. Um, over this 96 overall card so we'll see that could be pretty crazy but von miller looking real sick 95 speed at left outside linebacker that's crazy high 98 hit power 99 pursuit 94 block shed obviously was blitzing like crazy last night had two sacks i believe or two and a half sacks two forced fumbles crazy good compared to Derek brooks destroys him he's definitely a better card for sure and i actually think his zone is actually pretty respectable which is pretty much usually the knock i would have on a guy like von miller but you know, if his zone is pretty high, like I've heard, I think it's like 78, then you really can't make, you know, too much of a comparison. Yeah, 78 zone, 66 man. Obviously, Brooks is better in zone coverage with 93. Um, and, of course, that new Derek Brooks, the Super Bowl legend Derek Brooks, is probably even better than that. But this Von Miller, very, very good card. Definitely don't uh, don't sleep on it, but 1.25 mil, that's a little bit too much for me. And I definitely would not recommend you buy that for anything, you know, more than maybe like 800, maybe 900K. That is uh, a pretty expensive card, though. But let's open up this championship pack. Like I said, I'm not really sure exactly what I get in it, but I think I could get some Team of the Weeks and stuff like that. So if we can do that, that'd be pretty cool. Yes, we actually can get different cards. So let's see, Tony McDaniel, Cliff, a Cliff Averill, 
Got a Super Bowl 50 collectible. Don't need that. Parrish Cox. Uh, however you say that dude's name. Jay Cutler. John Brown. Uh, Rising Star. I'll take that. Any random collectible. So let's open up this uh, thing right here. Super Bowl reward set. Stupid pack thing that I always hate. Might as well open it up though. And uh, you know maybe we'll get something good. I doubt it. I'm sure it'll be a quick sell. Let's see what we get. And it is a collectible. That's pretty interesting. Probably will end up quick selling it though. Just because those really don't sell for much anymore. But let's open a few pro packs. Just see what we can get. For team of the week. Also, Charles Woodson was extended another 24 hours in packs because of the you know outage yesterday. So if you guys missed out on a chance to get him, go ahead and try to get him. But let's open some pro packs. All right, something weird was going on with the store, but whatever. We're all good. Still have 50 Super Bowl packs in the game. I'm gonna stay away. Those weren't that great yesterday. So if you want, go ahead and go for them. But to me, I'm gonna stay away and just open some pro packs. You know, open three, four, five, something like that. Nothing too crazy, but give a chance for a Team of the Week player. Right here, we get a Rob Sims, so nothing too good to start it off. But now that the season is over, there should be stuff coming out. NFL Honors cards, Position Hero cards, Final Editions eventually, and uh, the Ultimate Master set should be coming out as well. Got a D'Amico Ryans here. Don't really need him. Ultimate Master last year was very cool. Did that very quickly, and uh, hopefully can do that again whenever it comes out. Um, I do believe it, it came out you know, a week or two after the Super Bowl last year, so we'll see if it happens again this year. Brian Cushing in this pack, don't need him. Let's go two more, but let me know what you guys' thoughts are on you know, Ultimate Master, Position Heroes, guys like that. Are you excited about it? Um, you know, what about NFL Honors? Do you think they're going to drop NFL Honors cards? I think they will personally, but we'll see. That would be pretty cool to get a 99 overall Cam Newton. Despite you know his kind of you know poor performance yesterday, it would be cool to get a really, really good Cam Newton card. Um, considering he had obviously the best season of anyone in the league, got MVP, well deserving of it. But final pro pack here, and we get in Akeem Ayers. So pretty much all the packs I had were uh, trash. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know. Like I said, if you're excited for the stuff that's going to come out after the season ends, as it's already over now. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.